Right. Gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Florida is recognized. Was the shooter on the FBI's radar in any way prior to the assassination attempt? We did not have any information uh, about the shooter. He was not in our holdings um, before the shooting. No communication in any chat rooms, no CIs or confidential human sources have any interaction with No, him? we've run a, a thorough search uh, for the, the subject through all of our holdings and, and he was not in them anywhere. Were there any FBI agents or informants present at the Trump rally in Butler? Not to my knowledge. Uh, and Mr. Jordan was talking to you about Iran. Were law enforcement resources diverted from the protection of President Trump to John Bolton as a consequence of concern that Mr. Bolton might have been the target of, of Iranian uh, malign efforts? Uh, that's really a Secret Service decision. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, that's really something they would know better. What I can tell you is that... Um, there are a number of individuals, you mentioned one who we've brought a case, uh, a specific criminal case for the Iranians targeting for assassination, but how the- Are you going to get that answer to us, whether or not I'm resources sorry. were diverted from Trump to Bolton? Is that just going to be part of your review? Uh, I think that's going to be part of the reviews by the inspector, the, the inspector general. The inspector general the, for after, DHS, right? Of DHS right. and, and the, and, and and the I, outside panel. And I think action. that's an important point because the inspector general for DHS has really fallen out of favor with the administration because he's been pointing out all the problems on the border with Mayorkas and Biden. And we're always kind of worried that they're about to fire him, which would be a really bad idea now that this role that you've identified is, is so critical. Be, be a bad idea to fire the IG for DHS during the pendency of this, right, Mr. Director? I don't think that would be a good idea. I'm, I'm with you on that. So I want to zoom out a little bit. How often do you brief President Biden? Uh, you mean on this specific no, just generally. case? No, in your role as FBI director. I mean, I, I don't know that I could give you a number. I've, Is it like weekly, monthly, daily? It's, it's, not, it's not at a regular cadence. There have been times when there have been months at a time when I haven't, and then there have been times when several days apart I have. Okay. Uh, it's always with other people. Uh, the vice know. president, is she typically there? Uh, often has been. Okay, so, so when did you notice his decline? Uh, I, in my interactions, in my role, uh, all my interactions with the current president have been completely professional. Right, but I mean his, the cognitive decline. I'm not saying he treated you unprofessionally, just maybe not picking things up as quickly as he used to. Again, I... I don't meet with him very often, uh, but what you're describing is not something that I've observed during my interactions with him. I mean, we've, we've, we've had it observed so often that the ranking member and Mr. Schiff on this committee have said that he could no longer continue as a candidate. And so, since you're the FBI director, I was just sort of wondering, like, who's running the country? It, like if something, if something, yeah, so like yes. if, if something bad happened, you'd have to go brief President Biden about it right now? God and, forbid? And I, on any number of occasions, I have briefed the President, and as I said, those briefings have all been uneventful and unremarkable. Oh, I, I, I can imagine them being uneventful. Um, the, but but in, in the work where the Vice President's also present, like, you say there's, like, more than half the time there's these briefings, she's there too? I don't know if I said more than half the time. Certainly, there have been times where she's been present. There have been other times where she hasn't. I take you at your word when you say this is the most complicated threat environment you've ever observed over a long career in law enforcement. And I'm just kind of wondering, with this assassination attempt, with the invasion at our border, with all the Hamas that have been let in that you've talked about and briefed about, like, is Biden up to it? And if he's not up to it, and you're a guy who's been regularly briefing him, like, who, who's been in on this conspiracy to hide the real Joe Biden from all of us for years. It never occurred to you that this guy wasn't up to it in all these briefings you did? As I said, my briefings with the president have all been completely fine. Uh, Were they between briefed, 10 a.m. and 4 p.m.? He's asked questions. It, there hasn't been anything of note in the area that you're talking about. Yeah, did, did you ever have to brief him before 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m.? We hear those are his good hours. I can't, I certainly, times that I have briefed have included outside those hours. Right, okay. I just, you know, I, I think the American people want to know how we got to this point with someone who's very, so diminished his own party, 
has basically put him out to pasture. And since you had close proximity and the vice president had close proximity, I'm just kind of wondering if, uh, if you were being straight with all of us about how things were going with him. I guess we'll have to figure that you out. You can count on me to be straight with you, sir. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Gentlemen,